team up again and this week we'll be talking about ties and skinny fatties. So before we get into skinny fatties, let's just talk about some ties real quick. So uh, I'm going to show you, there's a lot of ties, texture, sizes, and something that might get confusing when to wear what. So I'm just going to show you a couple of ties here. This one, as you can see, it's a two and a half inch tie. Got that one. Anything under two and a half starts getting skinny. This is a two inch and it's a wool tie. We have another two inch. This is a knit tie. And then we have the fat three inch. There are pencil ties that are like one inch. I don't I personally don't like them but uh, to each his own. It's not my personal preference. So now when to wear what? Textured ones, like these. Uh, you can practically wear it almost any time. Unless it's like really formal, you can wear it with a suit, whenever you want. Wool is mostly for winter, fall, stuff like that. Knit you can you can pull off in the summer and winter. So that's when you wear different types. Then if you can, there's also silk and um, and then a combination of, like it's like fake silk and I don't have any because I don't like it. I just go with silk. I'm gonna show you the silk ones. The silk ones are a little more formal and you can wear these any time of the year with practically anything. We have the this is a two inch tie and then the two and a half. When to wear what size? Depending on the type of suit or blazer that you're wearing is when you wear the size that corresponds to it. So obviously if it's like a two inch, make sure the maple is like the same, around the same size or thickness. If you're gonna wear it, if it's a thicker lapel, you wear a thicker tie. That's where the thick three inch ties come in. Now, as like a tip or opinion sort of, I personally, if you're not gonna wear a jacket, if you're not gonna wear a jacket and you're just gonna be like this, and but you're deciding to wear a tie, I wouldn't recommend, especially if you're skinny too, but either body type. I wouldn't recommend wearing a fat tie just like this if you're not going to put a jacket over it with a thick lapel. I think since it's a more modern take, I would go with obviously a skinny tie. It looks better, you know, and that's only if you're not, it's not a rule, it's just an opinion, you know. If you're not wearing a blazer or a suit or anything and you're just going like this, I recommend wearing a skinnier tie, something under a two and a half, you know, between two, two and a half is a good size. This is where skinny fatties comes in. Me, I have a lot of modern stuff, a lot of modern lapels, which are the thin ones, and I like skinny ties. I'm not a big fat tie type of guy. There's nothing wrong with them. They're perfectly fine. I just don't like them. So my dad has a lot of ties, fat ties. He's a little more classic type of guy, but I want to wear some. The thing is, I don't wear thick ties. That's where skinny fatties comes in. Skinny fatties tailors ties. Uh, you give, you send them fat ties, and for thirty dollars, they send it back to you. You don't pay any shipping, and these cool little cans, you can see. And yeah, they send it back to you, tailored. So far, I think they're perfect. I mean, he did a great job. Joshua did a great job with them. It's an even line. There's no discrepancies. Uh, it looks like I bought it off the rack like this. This was originally the tie bar. I'm pretty sure you saw it in an earlier video. Uh, time. I'll show you before and after picture of this uh, this one. So as you can see, it makes a big difference. You know, uh, if you like that type of stuff, this is a good resource to have. You know, to tailor your ties. Now I'm just going to show you a quick way to tie your tie. Now there is a lot of knots. I believe there's a book out there that has about a hundred knots on how to tie a tie. And I personally think they're they're not necessary. Some do look nice, but I'll stick I'll give you the most basic knot, easiest knot anybody can pull off, right? It's called the overhand. Now this knot's good. Cause if sorry, remember to always button up your whole string. Sorry about that. Now this knot's good because you can have a thin knot, or not a thin, a smaller knot, and then a thicker knot when, if, when you do a double overhand. 
that comes in play when you bring in the blazer. When you bring in, or the shirt, you know, if it's a widespread shirt, you obviously need a, obviously need a thicker knot. So you would go with a double overhand. It's the same thing, you just go around one more time before you do the loop or tie it. And, or when you put in a blazer, when the opening of the blazer or jack, suit jacket is smaller, you use a thicker knot. When it's a wider opening, you use a smaller knot. So that, that's why this knot's really good. It's a simple knot, it's practically the only knot you need to know. There are other knots that are nice, but I'll show you the easiest one. So you want your left side, it doesn't really matter. I I go with left to be shorter than your right, right? So then you bring your left over your right like this. Throw your right over and make sure you leave your pointer finger there because you're gonna need that loop or hole to stick your tie in. Then you bring in the tie through the bottom and stick it in through the loop where your pointer finger is holding. Just pull it through. Just fix up the knot as best you can. It's kind of hard because I don't have a mirror. I still need a mirror to do my ties, but. So let's see, I think that's good. So remember to put it, stick in this back end in here because you don't want the tie to be all uneven. Uh, should be the right size, remember, top trouser button. Right size, shirt tucked in, and then you just put that in the cover. This part can be a little hard. You might need somebody for it. You get the point, All right? I think that's right. So remember the finger one finger rule. You should fit here one finger comfortably. That's how it should should fit. So as you can see, it's a perfect fit. Now, a quick tip that I would give you when you're going, like actually when you're wearing anything, if you're not wearing a vest or a sweater vest to keep the tie like in the center where it should be covering your buttons, uh, wear a tie bar. The tie bar sells them for cheap. Uh, you can find them anywhere for cheap. So, uh, so that's our review. Skinny fatties, they're great. They come in these cool little cans, thirty dollars. It's cheap, and if you stay, if you follow them on Instagram, they have sales all the time. So sometimes they're cheaper. I mean, he does a great job with them. Practically, they came off the rack. So I'm planning on sending him probably some more ties because I like what he did. And like I said, I'm a more modern dude and I like skinnier ties. So why don't you guys go and check him out, skinnyfatties.com. We have, I'll put the link down below, but we also have it featured on our website. So that's it for this week. If you liked it, 